Hi, my name is Anna Saren. I'm Director of Listings Development with the Canadian Securities Exchange. You're joining us as part of the Summit on Responsible Investment online series. I'm joined today by our wonderful issuer, Hillcrest Energy, and their CEO, Don Curry. Thank you for joining us, Don. Thanks for having us once again. This is a pleasure. We've done this a few times now. We're uh, we're um, seasoned at this <laughs> now, you and I. Okay, listen, Let's. I, I want to talk about some of the things that Hillcrest is working on, uh, especially as part of the Summit on Responsible Investment. Um, there's some pretty interesting things that are happening with the technology and the electrification era that we're entering and, and its role in that. But um, let's just remind our audience what Hillcrest Energy is. Hillcrest Energy Technologies, we're a power conversion company. And bottom line is we've developed a new technology that is applicable. It's the highest switching frequencies. It's the highest efficiency. It has huge benefits, substantial benefits throughout the electrification chain, whether it's traction, cars, or wind, solar, stationary, any sort of grid application. So it's something the world's been trying to do for the last 25, 30 years. We're the first company that we're aware of that has actually cracked the code and has a commercial prototype that we're demonstrating and in, in talks with companies with. Very interesting. Very cool. How does your technology specifically assist with the electrification era that we're entering? Good question. So I mentioned zero voltage switching, soft switching. Right now, the, what exists, the technology that exists out there is hard switching inverters. And that's what people have used for decades. And a hard switching inverter is basically, it has switching losses. It, the best way to say it is that it's on and off. If you think a light bulb turns on 40, 20, 40,000 times a second, there's an on and off and there's a switching loss. Gotcha. Our technology and what people have been trying to perfect, and we've done it, is that there's no switching loss. So it's a higher switching frequency. You eliminate the switching losses. So it's much, much, much more effective and it has positive benefits across the whole system. Now, when we talk about inversion, just very simply, an inverter is something that takes direct current to alternating current, alternating current to direct current. So a battery to the grid, a solar power to the grid, a battery to the car engine. So that's where we convert this. Okay, interesting. Maybe we could elaborate a little bit. It's been an interesting time as far as the electrification. Obviously, within the capital markets, it really um, it was it was the darling for a moment. What are you seeing happen within the capital markets and in companies that are involved in the electrification space, battery metals, other types? Sure, of it it still is the stuff. darling. It, yeah. it is the darling. But what the what the what the what our feeling is is what the industry is looking for now is. Are you close to having someone want it? It's, people say, that's great that you have something right. new, but do you have someone that wants it? Show us that someone wants it. And we have a number of different companies. It's taken a little bit longer, but we have a number of different global companies that we're talking to yeah. that are in conversation about wanting the technology and how they would apply to that. Our technology can be in a full inverter. It can be part of their inverter, can do different things. So the, the industry itself or the market itself is looking for near-term revenues. They're, okay. There's money out there to get involved. Show us someone wants your technology and we're right behind you. So where we were at maybe about a year ago was maybe a bit more conceptual about yes. all the things that were coming to market where this could be how it works within yeah. our framework. Now we're looking more as a market for how does this get implemented and what is the actual benefit to this getting implemented into various programs. Sure, and in, in our technology, we're not, as I say, we're, we're agnostic to the final application of it. It's okay. not just EV, it's not, ju it's not the grid. The grid has so many more different applications that we can apply this to, okay. and the grid needs to move fast. They're looking to be able to keep up or stay ahead. It's not about monthly sales. Right. EVs hear something every day that you know sales are down or it's not moving forward, so it's a That's slower right. implementation period there at that point in time. So we're trying to go, we're focusing on where we can go that has size, scope, and volume as quick as we possibly can to get to revenue. Very cool. Um, now all technology are kind of in di different phases of commercialization. Where is Hillcrest Energy at? We're in the commercialization phase okay. right now. So we've gone from an idea to a proof of concept to a commercial prototype, and then it goes to commercialization. We've been in commercialization for a little over a okay. year, maybe almost two years. And what we're doing, what we're learning is, what does the customer want? What is their process? What yeah. is their culture? It's yeah. far different on the automotive side than it is on the, on the grid side. The grid right. side will move faster because they need it. The car, the EV side, the OEMs, it's a, little, it's a little slower. We were about six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, we announced our first 
a development deal with a global tier one supplier, but a $3 billion company. They're looking to implement our technology into their inverter platform. Wow. This is massive for us because they're already selling to OEMs. They're already a recognized group, three to 500,000 inverters per year. We're in a two-phase development program. It takes about four months for each phase. We're well into the first phase, and, and off we go. Once they start selling that zero-voltage switching inverter, they'll be the first to have a zero-voltage switching inverter in the automotive industry. So wow. that's a big, big step for us. So we're in the commercialization phase. Okay, you and I have had this conversation before, and I always find it really interesting. Do you find that there's certain jurisdictions that are much more open to this and willing to work quicker in implementing this system than other jurisdictions? Tell us a bit about that. You mean jurisdictions around the world? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're finding Europe to be very receptive. Right. Ver Europe is very receptive because energy energy power, Australia is another one. Yeah. Energy and power is something that's a constant daily item. I don't know if people realize just how forward uh, Europe is as far as uh, clean energy or applying you know, more sustainable approach to their energy sources or how they utilize energy. I think, I don't know if people quite realize that. Well, we're, we're finding it. Yeah. We're, we're definitely finding it. When the conversations start, they're very quick. They're very, they're very quick to get into the demonstrations, very yeah. quick to get into the application. Um, they require a certified product, so we're working with companies that are willing to work with us to get our product certified. Uh, the testing's going along exceptionally well, but Europe is far more advanced as far as moving forward uh, on some of the technologies than, than we are here. Right. We are in North America. It's, yeah. Our aging infrastructure is something that, that causes government's problems, whereas there, they've already made some changes, and they're, and they're much more aware of efficiencies and costs and, and the new technologies that are available. They might they might have a need for it faster than we do. Uh, we might feel that we have a bit more of a runway before we have to implement some of these, so they might feel a bit of a quicker need for it, do you think? Yeah, I don't know if that's the case. No? I, I do know that uh, energy is a constant conversation over there. Yeah, that's uh, right. There's, there's some global concerns and some political concerns that affect yeah. each, and every, yeah. each and every jurisdiction. Uh, Sweden, we were just in Sweden doing a presentation in the early part of September, and Sweden has three different charging or uh, cost amounts per, for energy, whether it's in the north, south, or in the middle. Really? So they're very aware of it. There wasn't an individual we talked to, whether it was a retail investor or a company, yeah. that wasn't aware of the need for more efficient and more cost-effective technology. So that was interesting. And that's interesting you're talking about Australia. So what's the interest level there? It's just uh, they're, they're, they're keen to bring it on? or Australia is... Uh, is openly stating that they would like to build their available power capabilities 500% over the next 10 years. Right. So they have a vast network, but they're also providing power and sending it over to other jurisdictions. So they have a, a keen need for it. They have a keen understanding right. for it. And it's it's a real gold mine pop possibility for us. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, you recently um, built a, a relationship with a company called Systematic GMBH. Tell us about that. Systematic has been our partner, cooperative partner as we call it, the collaborative partner as we call it, out of Germany. Systematic is a power electronics design house. Okay. They've been in, uh, they've been developing inverter technology hardware only okay. for the automotive industry and for tier one suppliers for the last 20 years. Before that, the owners were part of a company, Continental, which was also in the inversion business. Okay. So they're very, very good. We're a firmware group here in, in software group here in Vancouver. Okay. Uh, collectively, the two teams have been able to with the unique proprietary use of hardware and software, have been able to develop this uh, this zero voltage switching technology. Right. So it is it's unique. It is hardware and software. It needs to be put together. And they their reputation second to none. Small group, but fifteen engineers, very well known, very very respected, and one of the best. Uh, one of the best hardware groups we could we, we could be aligned with, and they'll That's they'll great. grow with us as we grow forward. That's great. Um. And and you know just to kind of. And off, what, what's the hope for at Hillcrest? I mean, obviously, it seems like you have the ability to have global outreach. It seems like partnerships um, you could do, you could keep doing going forward um, and building those out on a global level. What is the hope for Hillcrest? Commercialize the, the technology. Okay. To put it in very simple terms, we're in conversations, have been in conversations for quite some time. Yeah. We're in the position right now that we have the first development deal with the global tier one supplier. Yeah. That uh, I don't think it, it gets the... Uh, the attention that it should. This is a massive opportunity for Hillcrest right. and for the Global Tier 1. It yep. gives them a competitive advantage that no one else will have unless they start right now. Yep. So we're looking to commercialize. 
we are agnostic to whether that's with the grid or if it's an automotive company or a tier one supplier. Yeah. So our, our goal is to get to that revenue stage. We're pre-revenue at this point. Yeah. Get the contract. Explain to the market that this is these are the steps that are involved in that. Yeah. And, and build out. We're a small company that has very, very, very big plans. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, listen, um, Don, it's always great to chat with you. I always like watching to see what Hillcrest is doing. Um, I'm very excited for what you guys do next. So thank you for joining us. Once again, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Okay.